Okay, just going to record a quick video here about creating some simple custom nodes for use in Comfy UI. This is just something I'm working on for a future video here. I've got a workflow that uses uh, at least one custom node in here. It's a very simple one. So the load image node here normally is like this. It outputs an image and a mask. So if you want to mask things out, you can do that. Just, you can port that out to another node. You don't really need to do that right now. But for the workflow that I have here, I found it useful to be able to uh, get access to the location of the file and the file name itself, because I wanted to use that when I went to save it again. So it's getting pumped over here. You can see the, uh, the file name here. I'm sending that over here so that when I go to save it again, it's gonna go to this folder with the name of the original file plus a number so I can iterate on it. And it makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of what images are associated with what generations and all of that sort of thing. Now it's a very specific sort of a modification. Is this useful for everyone? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It, it's very specific is what I'm saying. Another example over here in this workflow I've got two custom nodes that I made. Uh, the first one is over here. This is it's very simple. Extract first and last frames. It uh, does what it says on the tin, basically. I pump uh, an image sequence in one end, and on the other end, I'm going to get out just the first frame, just the last frame, so that I can send those off somewhere else, which is very useful. And over here, kind of the same thing. This is a split sequence node. In fact, it does exactly the same thing, but a little bit a little bit more. So instead of sending just the first and last frame, I can grab the last five frames and, uh, and or the last uh, 12 frames or something like that. So I can choose the number of frames that I want to crop it down to, which is pretty cool. So I found these to be really useful when I was making this workflow. So I want to talk a little bit about how to go about creating a custom node. Just a simple custom node, nothing too complicated. So I'm using the portable version of Comfy UI here. So the first thing here, if we open up the folder, this Comfy UI folder, we can look at this nodes file here which is, I've got it open already here. Now this is basically just a big file that has a list of all of the different nodes that are available. So save image node, preview image, and oh, here we go, the load image node that I was talking about before. So all of the code for that is here. So what we can do is actually just take this over to a language model. I've got Gemma 3, 27 billion loaded up here. And I can, this is just some straight vibe coding, I guess they call it these days. Oh, simple as that. I'm just going to ask it to modify the code, paste the code in there. Let's see what Gemma has to say.
Now this is a simple enough node that it should just work right away. There's not a lot that is going on here. So the output here, and I'm not going to read through this at the moment, but I'm reasonably certain that this should work right away. Now there is one problem at the end I'll talk about in a second. So anyway, we can jump over here, and that's going to be basically the code here. That should work on its own, except for one thing. Uh, the, the LLM often will forget to add the class mappings and the name mappings at the end. So it's got the import, it'll give you the code, but it will often not do this. So if we look over at the, the nodes code here, you'll see this same kind of thing at the end. It's just a big list of relations. Anyway, that's the same thing that's going on down here. So with this done, um, we go to save that over here. So here's my load image with path, which if I open that up, that's just right here. With this file in this location, when I go to open Comfy UI here, it should load that node up without any problems. Load, load, load image with path here. So there we go, that works out pretty well. And some of these other nodes, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, first and last frames, very, very simple node. First and last frames. The whole thing is just this. Uh, split sequence node. A little bit more complicated, but... Well, I hope this video was helpful and interesting, all those good things. Thanks for watching.